Thanks, Chris, and thanks to you for tuning in. Tonight's lead opening statements in the George Zimmerman murder trial. 16 months after the death of Trayvon Martin, a jury in a criminal trial finally heard evidence about what happened on that rainy night in Sanford, Florida. It was a dramatic and emotional day in court. The jury heard testimony from four eyewitnesses, four witnesses, Ending just moments ago, they were not eyewitnesses. Let me correct myself. They were witnesses. The day started with an opening statement from prosecutor John Guy that caught many by surprise. He quoted George Zimmerman's own words, including profanity, during a call to police the night of Trayvon Martin's death. He, he quoted Zimmerman to lay out the prosecution's case. Good morning. Pumps. These assholes, they always get away. Those were the words in that grown man's mouth as he followed in the dark a 17 year old boy who he didn't know. And excuse my language, but those were his words, not mine. Pumps. These assholes, they always get away. Those were the words in that defendant's head just moments before he pressed that pistol into Trayvon Martin's chest and pulled the trigger. And then, as the smoke and the smell of that fatal gunshot rose into a rainy Sunday Sanford night, Trayvon Martin, 21 days removed from his 16th year, was face down in wet grass, laboring through his final breaths on this earth. The truth about the murder of Trayvon Martin is going to come directly from his mouth. From those hate-filled words that he used to describe a perfect stranger and from the lies that he told to the police to try to justify his actions. A 28-year-old grown man, somebody who wanted to be a police officer, somebody who had called the police numerous times about crime in his neighborhood, someone who had become the neighborhood watch captain, and someone who believed, most importantly, that it was his right to rid his neighborhood of anyone that he believed didn't belong. At the end of this trial, you will know in your head, in your heart, in your stomach, that George Zimmerman did not shoot Trayvon Martin because he had to. He shot him for the worst of all reasons, because he wanted to. After a short break, it was the defense's turn. Lawyer Don West gave jurors an alternate version of events that night that George Zimmerman acted in self-defense. I think the evidence will show that this is a sad case, that there are no monsters here. George Zimmerman is not guilty of murder. He shot Trayvon Martin in self-defense after being viciously attacked. And here's the evidence that will show you how and why it happened the way it did. George Zimmerman sees Trayvon Martin in a spot. And he caught his attention, caught George Zimmerman's attention. Little did George Zimmerman know at the time that in less than 10 minutes from him first seeing Trayvon Martin, that he, George Zimmerman, would be sucker punched in the face, have his head pounded on concrete, and wind up shooting and tragically killing Trayvon Martin. The defense opening statement lasted two and a half hours. The prosecution's opening just 30 minutes. Two very different approaches today 
as the jury began considering whether George Zimmerman is guilty of killing Trayvon Martin. 